so hopefully you watched my first video about exponents. If you have not watched that, make sure you watch that one first. So remember that your bigger number is called your base, and this little bitty number is your exponent. Your base tells you the number being multiplied. Your exponent tells you how many times to multiply. So this first question tells us to multiply 2 five times. So if you want, you can just write five twos and then go ahead and fill in your multiplication symbols. And then you're just going to go one at a time. Some of these you might be able to multiply all of them in your head. Sometimes it's a good idea to just go ahead and write it down. So 2 times 2 gives me 4. So now I'm doing 4 times 2. And if you want, you can write it out like um, order of operations. So 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. And 16 times 2 is 32. So again, I'm just doing 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 is 8, times 2 is 16, times 2 is 32. So 2 to the 5th power gives me 32. 12 to the 1st power means 12 multiplied 1 time. So I'm only going to write it down one time, and then I actually don't have anything to multiply it by. So when you have something to the first power, that's just that you keep the same number. 5 to the third power, our base is 5, so we're multiplying 5, and we're doing that three times because our exponent tells us to do that. I can fill in my multiplication symbols. 5 times 5 is 25. And 25 times 5 is 125, okay? So I want you to look. We didn't do 2 times 5. We didn't do three, uh, 5 times 3. That's not how this works, so make sure you're following the direction. Now here we have a special case. Remember in our notes we put that any number to the 0 power always gives us 1. Okay, I've got a couple more examples. So 10 to the 3rd power is 10 multiplied three times. I need to change that. I'm going to do the fourth power on that one. So 10 times 10 gives me 100, and 100 times 10 gives me 1,000. Last but not least, 3 to the fourth power. So that's 3 multiplied four times. 3 times 3 gives you 9. 9 times 3 gives you 27. And 27 times 3, you're probably not going to know that in your head. So you would just come over here and work it out. 3 times 7 is 21. And 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. So that means my answer is 81. Okay. So again, feel free to go back and watch that if you needed to pause and look at what I did and ask me any questions that you have.